Korean quilt. And it's time for Korean Quilt. That's right, KQ, your guide to the Korean language and culture. On KQ today, I'm afraid we're going to gross some people out. We're going to have to introduce a crucial but very cheesy expression. So please do not throw up. 사랑해요. Uh, <laughs> yep, that's the one. And of course it means I love you. Actually, many foreigners who study Korean probably learned this expression early on. But for those who haven't, let's get down and cheesy. 사랑해요. Oh, I like getting down and cheesy, girl. I love you, baby. 사랑해요. 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 Now, ideally, if someone says this to you, you want to say it back. So you could say, 나도 사랑해요. 나도 사랑해요. Okay, so the 사랑해요 part is the same, but we just added me too, which in Korean is 나도. Let's practice. 나도 사랑해요. 나도 사랑해요. Now, we've been learning the polite form and informal and lower form lately, so let's continue with that theme. If you're expressing your undying love to a close friend or family member or even your special someone and you're on informal speaking terms with them, you can simply say, 사랑해. Right, so just take out that last yo and make the expression, 사랑해. 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 나도 사랑해. Okay, time for situational practice. Oh, my adorable but slightly dim-witted son. 사랑해. I love you too, mommy. 나도 사랑해요. That was excellent, Richard. Wasn't it good, though? Okay, that's it for us. We'll see you back here tomorrow on KQ.